NextStage has prepared this instructional video as a supplement to existing labeling and training materials. This tool is not intended to replace the NextStage System 1 User's Guide or Cartridge Instructions for Use. Refer to the appropriate User's Guides and Instructions for Use for all warnings and precautions. You have selected the Detecting Filter Clogging Clotting module. For this, we will refer to handout TM205 entitled The ABCs of Clotting to determine clotting of the filter. You can use this handout as a resource while you are using the Next Stage System 1. Your manager or educator can obtain this document from the NX Documents section of our website. First, ensure that no tubing is pinched, clamped, or leaking. From the Therapy Summary screen, click the One View Graph button. Select appropriate interval selection for the length of time the patient has been on therapy. You are looking at the trending of pressures. Any change in pressure trends indicates that clogging or clotting is likely occurring. Look at the red line. If the access pressure is decreasing or becoming more negative, this indicates the arterial access is clotting. Look at the blue line. If the venous pressure is increasing, this indicates the patient's access on the return line is clotting. If no access clotting is indicated, then verify that filter clogging or clotting is occurring. Look at the blue line again. The venous pressure will decrease if there is filter clogging or clotting. Look at the yellow line. The effluent pressure will increase or decrease if the filter is clogging or clotting. Look at the orange line. The balance chamber pressure will increase or decrease if the filter is clogging or clotting. Look at the red line once more. The axis pressure will increase, become less negative, if the filter is clogging or clotting. Changes in these pressures indicate clogging or clotting, but will not predict when clotting or clogging will happen. The pressure changes that you are observing will indicate which alarm you will see with imminent clotting. For example, if your venous pressure is decreasing and your effluent and balance chamber pressures are increasing, you may see a series of low venous pressure and high balance chamber pressure alarms. There are two methods you can use to visualize clotting in the filter. The first is to view the filter header using a flashlight. Second, you can flush the filter to determine the extent of clotting. For the best visualization of the filter, open the clamps on the saline line and the saline T. This allows saline to flow. Occlude the arterial or access patient line by clamping the large red clamp. Allow 100 to 200 cc's of saline to be infused. When flushing is complete, Release the arterial or access patient line, that red clamp, and reclamp the saline line and the saline T. Observe the filter for signs of clotting. If extensive clotting is seen, consider returning the patient's blood using either a planned return or an emergency return. If extensive clotting is not observed, Continue the therapy and observe for signs of clogging or clotting. Congratulations, you have completed the module determining filter clotting.